The main thing to remember about symptoms is that they come late. Most people won't notice them at all. And they're very, what we call in medicine, non-specific. In other words, they're, they're quite woolly. They're not something that you can pin down on. They're not something that you can actually feel and say, yes, I've got silicosis as opposed to I've got asthma or COPD or something else. So the thing that people notice first is breathlessness. And often it's only mild breathlessness. For example, when running up the stairs or carrying heavy shopping or something like that. And that's really the, often the only thing that people notice until they're really quite sick. Um, but often the next thing is, is a cough. Um, sometimes a dry cough, sometimes a cough producing some clear mucus. And if you smoke or if you vape or if you've had other exposures, then sometimes you will actually present with these symptoms a lot earlier. And then the other thing that people sometimes notice is a bit of a wheeze, which is a whistling sound in their chest. Um, sometimes that's worse when they lie down in bed at night. And really it's only when you become quite sick that you notice other symptoms of silicosis. And that is a sensation of chest tightness, a sensation of being unable to take a big breath. And that makes sense because the lungs are scarred and they're contracted and therefore you can't fill your lungs with air in the same way you normally would do. And a sensation of sometimes, but not that often, of a sort of sensation of chest pain. But chest pain is not something that people get on the whole. And if you do get a symptom of severe chest pain, then you should go to see your doctor immediately. Because in the very late stages of silicosis, you can actually get a collapsed lung, or what's called a pneumothorax, and that will make you very breathless and give you severe chest pain. But that's very unusual. So when we actually look for symptoms of silicosis, um, we realize that these are actually pretty late and that's one of the reasons that we need to do the screening in order to check up on your lungs and make sure that you're safe um, and to do the tests early on. So a, a chest x-ray or a CT scan will pick up the signs of silicosis first. Examining the chest often is completely normal and um, breathing tests again won't be abnormal until very late in the disease. So all of these things are important to remember and that's one of the reasons that you need to be careful about just making sure that your doctor knows that you've been exposed to silica lust and you are at risk of developing these various silica associated diseases.